Gilbert Joyce, do you remember the circumstances in which Bend It first came about? Probably Bend It was one of the many songs we danced to in nightclubs. In the nightclub, I'm convinced that were mostly, yes, in gay bars and then the Blitz. Because it was a period for 10 years that we danced nearly all uh, our lives away. <laughs> Every single night nearly. It was extraordinary stuff. We had different dances. We even had a punching dance, I remember. And we went out with one friend one evening. We did the punching dance all evening. And then at the end of the evening, we, s we went off and we said, we'll see you for lunch tomorrow, yeah? And then telephoned in the morning and said, I'm not going to make it for lunch. We said, what's the matter? I've got broken ribs. <laughs> <laughs> was this an extension of living sculpture? It was a living sculpture. It's one of them. It's a dancing, dancing sculpture. It was quite a dancing sculpture, and we did it because we were doing the, the two of us only in the bars and all the stuff. It was quite a very energetic in an amazing way. I mean, we not only bend it, we used to sing what to go dance to other songs as well. Like, I remember, like in Paris, we went there and we did such a extraordinarily mad evening. All this. This kicking in, punching dance. The whole, that they the whole dance floor cleared. Clear. We back, stopped dancing. We were just dancing in the middle of an empty dance floor. Well, when Philip Hass said that he would like to make a film with us, and he wanted to know what we would do before he decided whether to do it or not, and we had to propose something. And we said, it's not a proposition. If we do a film, it will be about everything that we think, hope, <coughs> fear, dread, like, dislike. Yes, I think we would have called it a a living sculpture film, and we did the script, the storyboard was all done by us. Dancing was part of us in a big way those days, and we just went up on the stage and did it. One take. It's not a what to go choreographed, no, it's just going up and doing this mad thing. Interestingly, the producer of the film wanted it removed from the film. He was determined at all costs that that shouldn't be included. He made some, I think, excuse that there was a little bit of light in one corner or something, but I'm sure it was very simple. He didn't like the idea of two men dancing, which is part of its success, of course. I think even because it has something very primitive about it as well. It's all dark, like in some cave with <coughs> the light from the fire, you could imagine. And not only that, I think it was, it was exciting the suits. Hmm. We don't look normal hmm? <laughs> we do the dancing. <laughs> what about the actual move of Bendit? Where did that, how did that, that move evolve? Are you I think just, just from the title of the song, really, yeah. Bendit. Do you have a view about dance seen as an art form? Were you playing with that idea? No, I wouldn't have thought we'd be playing with that. No. We've, never had, we've never had an interest in dance. We've never been to the ballet. No, I think it was not based on that. It was all based on the, what they called the G&G big sculpture non-stop. And part of that was our, l like, having breakfast and getting up and relaxing, smoking, dancing. Is bended, is it the dance? that is the artwork, or is it the film of the dance that is the artwork, or are the two inextricably linked? I think it's the dance in the, in the movie. Bended, we never created for a, a living piece. It was part of the film, does it? But it's now taken yes. on a life of its they own. They took it out and made it different. Do you still dance? No. 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 Why not? We became far too sophisticated. I think, I think it's more difficult for the, for the legs. <laughs> They're giving way. <laughs> Give it to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.